Welcome everyone. I hope you can all hear me well. That's great. Well, I see some new faces, so I will make a short introduction. My name is Malou and I'm a guides translator and a spirit channeler. And twice a month, I channel the energy to the earth with full moon and this time with new moon. And 2021 started with a bang, also for me. My personal guides asked me to receive a lot of changes. So we worked for two years just with meditation. The guides have asked me to change this to transmissions. And if you look at history, transmissions were sent by masters. The guides reassured me that you are the master inside yourself, which means that you are your own teacher. The true source lies within. And the moment we bring awareness with a transmission, we can open ourselves and learn from this 5D energy. So the only thing I'm going to ask you is to allow yourself to open yourself to this new energy, the energy of the new moon in Capricorn. So see if you can find a comfortable spot for yourself. And with this transmission, the guides specifically ask me, you can also lay down because this meditation is asking from you to totally relax. So yes, you can sit, but make sure your spine doesn't feel too tight. See if you can relax in your spine. And if you prefer to lay down, it's totally fine. Just by opening your system and listening to my words, which I'm translating from the guides, you can observe what is happening into your system. When I ask you to open yourself, just allow yourself to be transparent. So your breath can just softly fall into your system. How your skin feels soft and light. So the new moon energy can just fall in. Softly observing the body. Realizing that there is lightness inside. Even if you are going through a lot of darkness at this moment, just trust that there is lightness inside. Capricorn 
Capricorn's energy represents the father, the being good, the following the rules, being dutiful. But funny enough, this is going to change. There is nothing you have to do at this moment. Just the realization that you have Capricorn's qualities inside makes you complete so you can just breathe. Yes, you are a good person. Yes, you are already following the universe rules. Yes, you are fully dutiful. There is nothing at this moment you have to do. See if you can just softly inhale with this realization into your system. The first new moon of the new year comes with a lot of golden acceptance. 2020 was a intense year. So see if we can rest exactly where we arrived right now. Softening with your breath all the judgment that you should be anywhere else but here. Softly inhale this golden energy. You are exactly where you should be right now. How the golden energy softly enters into your system, shining its light on everything what is there. 
even on the darker parts. Accepting that they help us to find back the light. We are incredibly balanced. How darkness can live next to the light. Just as light as light itself. Just here to teach us. Where does light still needs to be more bright? So if you are in through pain right now. Inhale softness for yourself. You are exactly where you are and should be right now. This new moon is a confrontation with our soul contract. The guides are showing me that everyone made a plan here on Earth. This is the moment to oversee it all and to accept that you are exactly as you planned beforehand. So take a deep breath and inhale the soft and light golden energy into your system. How old pains doesn't have to get rid of anymore. How present sadness doesn't have to go anywhere else but here. How anger shouldn't be suppressed any longer. How the future tickles our energy forward. So we advise you to accept, accept, accept. Acceptance energy has the true quality of forgiveness. It isn't something you can do. 
It is only the energy to surrender to. So open your system for this golden light inside. Maybe your body would love to shake a little with all the acceptance energy from your own source. Acceptance and allowance. My guides are pointing out that if you are falling into the stories of your mind right now, please don't feel any judgment. There might be an excess of energy inside the mind right now. Even this needs your acceptance 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 just by allowing yourself to accept your energetic system exactly how it is you can let it transform so please return back to the breath to receive the light of golden energy of the new moon in Capricorn. With every inhalation we receive, acceptance energy. With every exhalation, we softly let go. Any tension inside the body. Just let it all be, giving it space to be accepted.
the Venus planet also in Capricorn is showing us to place ourselves on number one first. First, we heal and accept ourselves before we move to the outside world. So, take every meditation as a opportunity to check in and accept the lightness what is coming from the inside. The moon is rising in 23 degrees. Two and three makes five, which stands for freedom. Arriving in 2021 brings us in a new light. We have completed a layer of evolution. Now it is our job to work with this light inside. The rising sign shows great optimism for the future. How Earth can be such a lighter place. Softly inhale. The soft and golden energy into your system. I am even going to ask you to become even bigger. So radiate a little more. Show up fully where you are right now. In lightness or in darkness.
What the guides are reassuring me is that true acceptance gives joy. Even if you are dealing with the more difficult emotions, the more difficult version of pain, even in your darkest nights, allowing yourself to feel true acceptance, is giving you the space to transform. In the new year, we are only going to create from wholeness within. Lightness, and darkness old pains and new me this is you to the fullest nothing has to be gone anymore With every inhalation, we invite the golden energy in. With every exhalation, we let go and take even some more space around you. True acceptance brings joy.
And there is a message from the same spirits who are leading this transmission, which I would love to translate for you. Dear humans, you have come on a interesting point in evolution. You now have the ability to shift in the different dimensions. So yes, you might be at work in the three-dimensional world, you have the option to shift to higher dimensions too. So to create from love energy and bring it to the world is a new evolution of human capability. I want you to be more aware of this power inside, which also means that changes for the greater good can come from shifting realities. Yes, this can bring pure joy to the earth because the moment you choose to only work from the heart space, bringing its pure energy down to earth is a guarantee for success. Maybe not immediately in the three-dimensional world, but working with 5D energy brings trust. So please trust your heart's energy that it will do good. Yes, it will pay off in not only love, but also in the transformation on earth. So, dear humans, I am really going to ask you to shift even more. Yes, you are already working with this, but you can do this more consciously. I am going to ask you in your meditation or when you are working with awareness, just to ask yourself in which layer am I right now? You have the choice to go higher and bring the love energy to earth. Choose wisely because it will pay off in the heart.
and the moment you hear the sound of the bell, see if you can stay open while also arriving back into your own room. I want to thank you all for joining because the moment we are together, our field is connecting and we can get so much stronger. I'm going to give you the maybe difficult task to not overthink it. Just allow the energy into your system. Especially because the guides are reassuring that the moment we are shifting in dimensions, we are getting the connections with our lines, with our past lives, with our future lives. So sometimes you feel emotions you don't even understand. Don't worry about it. Just allow in it the acceptance space you have available. And hopefully we will meet again, this time on a Thursday, the 28th of January, when it's full moon in Leo, which is a huge difference in energy. It will be again in the evening, so from 7.30 till 8.15. And I already wanted to warn you, well warn you, that's too dramatic. But I already wanted to let you know that we are going uh, in Mercury retrograde. So the acceptance energy will get a tight grip. And even that, if you recognize it into your life, just take a moment for yourself to again, accept, accept, accept. Because that gives space. And in this space, you can transform. I'm wishing you a wonderful evening. And if you love a personal channeling with me, I'm available and I love my work. Have a wonderful evening. <laughs>